Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're going to fix one of the most annoying Windows errors. The application was unable to start correctly, 0xc00007b. This usually happens when certain system files or game dependencies are either corrupted or missing entirely. But don't worry, I'll guide you through a complete step-by-step -step solution to fix it once and for all. Let's get started. First, open your Start menu and type Control Panel. Click on it to open the Control Panel window. Once you're in, make sure the View By option at the top right is set to Category. Now click on Programs, and then under that choose Turn Windows Features On or Off. A new window will pop up. Here, scroll to the top and look for these two items, .NET Framework 3.5, .NET Framework 4.8, Advanced Services. Make sure both are checked. If they aren't, check them now. Click OK, and Windows will ask you if you want to let it download the required files. Click Yes, and let it install everything. This may take a few minutes, so just be patient and don't close anything. Now let's remove any corrupted DLL files that could be causing the issue. Open File Explorer and go to this PC. Open Local Disk C. From here, open the Windows folder, then scroll all the way down and open System32. Inside System32, look for the file called zinput one underscore three dot DLL. You'll find it near the bottom. Right-click on it and select Delete. Now go back one folder and open syswow64. Do the same thing. Scroll to the bottom. Find zinput one underscore three dot DLL and delete it too. Deleting these will allow Windows to replace them with fresh, working versions in the next steps. Now let's get the latest version of DirectX from Microsoft. Open your browser and search. Download DirectX End User Runtime Web Installer. Click on the official Microsoft website from the results. Click the Download button, and once it's finished, open the installer. Uncheck the option that says Install the Bing Bar unless you want it. Click Next, follow the prompts, and wait for the setup to finish. We're almost done. Now open your Start menu again, type in Settings, and click to open it. Scroll down on the left panel and go to Windows Update. Click Check for updates. If there are any available, install them now. Updates often include bug fixes and missing components that could resolve this exact error. And that's it. Restart your computer and try launching your app or game again. If this video helped you, don't forget to drop a like, leave a comment, and subscribe for more helpful guides just like this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.